Having a comprehensive monitoring and alerting service is a critical component to maintaining a reliable and secure cloud deployment. However, the standard notification channels available from these services, email and SMS, may not meet the needs of your organization or deployment. In this case, you can create a custom channel to integrate an alternative notification solution into your alerting pipeline. In this video, you'll learn how to use cloud monitoring alerts with a custom notification channel to bring together alerts from across your deployment to the channel of your choice. Let's get started. A basic monitoring and alerting pipeline looks something like this. A cloud ops admin creates alerting policies to detect important events in their services. When a policy is triggered, it generates an incident this in turn generates a notification, which is sent to several notification channels. To integrate a custom notification channel into your alerting pipeline, you can use either of two approaches. The first option is to use a webhook. The second option uses Cloud Run to generate an API call to your preferred notification service. The rest of this video walks you through how to implement the latter option using Cloud Run and an API call. Cloud monitoring generates notifications in JSON using a schema which your notification service may not understand. The simplest way to bridge this gap is to transform the message from cloud monitoring to match the schema used by your chosen notification service. At a high level, this process involves adding a new PubSub notification channel and attaching it to your cloud monitoring alert. PubSub will then push the message to a cloud run service. The service transforms the message to match your service's schema and then sends the transformed message to the API of your notification service. To send notifications to your notification service, you will need two service accounts with appropriate permission. First, a monitoring service account with Identity and Access Management, or IAM role, PubSub Publisher, to send messages to your PubSub topic. Be aware, cloud monitoring creates this service account for you, so you just need to add the role. Second, an invoker. This is a new service account with the Cloud Run Invoker role. The PubSub channel will use this account to push the notifications to your Cloud Run service. Let's now look at the schema for an example notification from Cloud Monitoring. The schema is quite complex, so I'll just show the basic structure and the pertinent sections related to the transformation. The schema contains a version tag. Your code should use this tag to check that the message version is one your code understands. The incident contains the resource metrics, metadata, and policy information for the incident. Take note of the labels at various levels. They provide you a way to attach application-specific data to the metrics, to the policy, or to the resource, which will end up in the incident. You can use this data as parameters for your code. The policy user labels can be set on each alerting policy, so are the most direct place to set parameters. As an example, if each team owns a set of alerting policies, you can use the policy user labels to include data on which team should get the notification in your preferred notification service. Team and service could be used to select a chat room or channel in your notification service where the people who will act on the notification are expecting the notification to land. Now that you understand the Cloud Monitoring Notification Message Schema, let's look closer at your Cloud Run code. PubSub push subscriptions wrap the notification in JSON and post that to the Cloud Run. Your code must read the message from PubSub, store it in a dictionary or hash table, extract the data field in the message to get the incident as a dictionary, Use the incident data to construct a new message to send to your notification services API. 
And finally, send the message and then log the results. A quick note, when editing a PubSub notification channel, there's a link, send a test notification, which you can use anytime to get sample data or test your code. You can then go to the subscriptions for the PubSub topic and pull a message to see the contents or allow your code to receive the message and see what it does. To learn more about creating notifications for your custom channels, follow the links in the video description for documentation and detailed tutorials. Thanks for watching.